Hi guys, welcome back. I am Red Zed, and today we have something very special for you. A Cities Skylines Vanilla City. In order to prepare ourselves for City Skylines 2. City Skylines 2 is on the way, guys, like we all know. And I thought, what a great way to get prepared for that release by building up a vanilla city in Cities Skylines. Now, I normally would play with about 4 million mods. <laughs> but I thought, why not make a vanilla city for you guys so that you can see how we can do it in 2023 and how we can sort of min-max our economy, all those sorts of things on vanilla as well. Now, I hope you will enjoy this series, guys. And if you do, then please do leave a like and a subscribe. That would be fantastic. We're on the way to 3,000 subscribers, so that would be Glorious. Now we have built our first road, so we've got access to a few different roads. We are on left-hand drive as well, guys, for all you Americans out there. <laughs> You're going to enjoy that quite a bit. Now we are on the Shifting Sands map as well, and there's plenty of different things that we want to do with this map. If we zoom out slightly, we can see that it's a big sort of estuary over here. Uh, that comes into the city. In terms of the uh, uh, the tiles we're going to build, I'm either thinking we build downtown over this side, or we build it over here, right on the outcrop of the estuary. But we'll get to that point eventually. First things first, we're going to build a little suburb. We're going to build a little suburb down here, towards the beach, enjoying the sunshine and the sand. Uh, and we're going to build a bit of an industrial area up here, too, because we've got a nice bit of farming just to our north. So, without further ado, let's get going. We're using the gravel roads for nice cheapness, and we're going to come all the way down. I know it seems like quite a long way, but we're going to come all the way down, ready to go. Now, we're just going to come off the roads for now. I'm not going to worry too much uh, about creating intersections just yet, just to save money, and we're also not going to have a huge amount of traffic to start with. So we're going to get a little road up to our industrial area over here, which is where we're going to build our industry. It's going to be quite far away from our little suburb, and we're going to start on the suburb down here. Now I'm thinking something nice and sort of different. I'm not thinking, I'm thinking of going for the European suburbs um, theme in this area, guys, the European th suburbs theme. And in general, European suburbs are not uniform and direct. They're quite uh, higgledy-piggledy and, uh, you know, curved. So a few different curved roads, I've got to say, is the option down here. We're going to extend this road down to here. We've still got about 60,000, so I don't think we need to worry too much about the cash. We're going to connect these up together, and then we're going to come down here. Now, let's see if we can, you know, sort of match this nice little curve. Maybe come off slightly. And maybe come back round in a big circle. And this can be sort of our dead-end suburb, if you like. Something that is very common um, in the sort of UK and Europe. A suburb that leads nowhere. <laughs> that you go and live in. And I think that's quite a cool little shape there, to be honest. Um, yeah, looking nice. On top of that, guys... We have the standard name of Lost Palmer. We've got to get you guys. Please, do think of a great name for this suburb. That'd be fantastic. For this suburb and for this city, should I say. Now, let's come off this way. And let's just... This isn't obviously very efficient, guys. But it's going to look quite cool, I would say. Nice little roads there. And potentially, we'll come around this way. We might leave a few gaps, like we can see there. I'm not going to join that one up just yet. And we're going to come through this way. A nice little dead-end cul-de-sac down there as well. Very nice. Cool. I do like that a lot indeed. And then over here, we are going to get our sort of industrial heartland going now. This is going to be pretty much uniform, guys. Best way to do it. Uh, early game, and I don't think it's going to take away from the look of the city with a uniform. I'm going to leave a little bit of a gap there so that we can fit maybe a larger power station, that sort of thing in there. Now, in terms of the power, we do have the advanced coal power station. It's got 56 megawatt output, whereas the normal coal station has 40. So the normal coal station is better. We eventually will want to upgrade everything to being green 
uh, green power, which we could actually do with some wind turbines right now, but as you can see, not much wind going on. So unfortunately, it is coal power for us. Great start to the city. Sticking uh, fumes out everywhere. Um, so yeah, we're going to get as close as we can down this end. I'm going to stick that in there. We are still paused, guys, of course, because of course we, uh, we need to be. So let's stick that down there. So we've got our power. Let's have a look for our water. Now, this is going to be slightly problematic. I'm thinking about doing an inland sewage treatment plant up in this region. It doesn't fit particularly well, does it? So, thinking maybe if we keep everything on this side of the road, the road should upgrade okay. Um, yeah, I've not really fit that in too well, but we could actually fit two in this way if we wanted to. So I think that's quite a good idea. We're also going to suck up some water from the sea. Nah, let's uh, let's go for a, uh, a nice little tower. They all were always nice to see dotted around the map. So let's do that. I'm not going to worry too much about following the roads with our pipes. We're going to be more efficient than that. So we're going to come down this way. If we can get that at uh, 90 degrees, please. Oh, it's so weird playing without mods for the first time in a while. Um... <laughs> It is quite weird. Really weird. Uh, but uh, it's fine still. I mean, it's good. It's good. You don't need mods to enjoy this game, which is always something that I've really loved about it. And we're going to expand the pipes a little bit for the cul-de-sac. So I think, I think we might be ready, guys, to press play. First of all, of course, we've got a zone. Uh, now I'm thinking, in terms of zoning, let's just go straight for, you know, this main cul-de-sac um, over here as all green for now and what I'm going to do is potentially change that around slightly depending on our commercial demand and I might create a little shopping sector just up here a nice little shopping street in fact let's do that now we don't want to come out too aggressively so let's do that Nice little shopping street up here. We will get some paths in at some point as well, of course. And, you know, these guys can back onto it. It won't matter too much. And there we are. So the shop's down on that street. You can go and get your shopping if you want. Go to the donut store if you uh, are so inclined. And, yeah, let's, uh, let's press that space bar, shall we? Bang! Straight in. We're ready to go, guys. Straight in. And we have a high, high residential demand. Um, and let's click that speed right up. We're down to 5,000 now, so we aren't actually making much money. In fact, we're losing quite a bit of money. So let's get into our budget. Let's start to balance that slightly. Get down. We could probably go all the way down with both of these right now. Uh, roads. I'm fine leaving the roads on medium. Uh, we'll also get our taxes changed as soon as we can, which we can't right now. So that's fine. But we have everyone in the city now. Oh, here they come. And unfortunately, we can't put a district. Okay, sewage-wise. Yeah, we've got plenty of sewage treatment. I don't know why you're complaining. I can't put a district to make this European suburbia, which I really want to do. But we will do that eventually. We'll get this into European suburbia. And quite nice how they all built next to the pylon first as well, rather than anywhere else. Ah, the uh, the water tower doesn't have power, of course. Let's get a little... I mean, that's not the nicest looking uh, thing in the world, but it will get uh, power to our water tower. So that's perfect. And looking good, guys. Looking good. So, guys, I let the game run for a second, but it seems like our demand has now been satiated for residential. So, we're going to stick our first industry in there, right in that hole there. And let's watch it grow up out of the mist. Now, our industrial zone does look beautiful, doesn't it? But unfortunately, we don't have any water going to it. Of course, I forgot. Very common thing for me to do, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, but, you know, our water availability is coming down somewhat. Let's have a look what happens once all these places get the water. 
It's come down a little bit. Not too much, but we've just got to be wary of that. We are now making money as well, which of course is great. And here come the cars, guys. Here come the cars in the darkness coming to the houses. And they're building even more houses along the way as well, which is really nice. This junction, of course, is all going to get changed eventually. We'll probably have a large sort of roundabout here with a large road coming down the front. Actually, potentially not a large road coming down the front, but we'll see. When it is our first milestone, um, uh, and almost exactly as I said it, we got it. Little Hamlet. We've now got taxes, loans, garbage, healthcare, and education. So we've got to be wary of that slightly because that's going to cause us, you know, to spend a lot more money than we really have right now. But we did get a bit of an income boost. Of course, the sewage and the water is a bit of a problem. I did just boost the water up. Ah, there we are. Fantastic. We've got enough now. We've got enough. These places should be happy in a second. There they are. There they all go. And we are good. So we are going to get our first garbage dump, which... Uh, Always my favorite thing to place down in this game. <laughs> um, so let's go for that. I was considering getting a recycling center. Upkeep of 240 a week. What's that? 160. So upkeep of 400 overall. I think we can afford that right now. So let's go for that. Unfortunately means we can't build a medical clinic. But I don't think we'll have a problem with medics for a little while. So we just want to get that cash in the door while we can and just look at our beautiful little suburb coming together very nice indeed And dawn has broken on our quaint little suburb, of course. Very nice indeed. We're making a little bit of cash. Not a huge amount. Actually, this recycling center doesn't have thingies now. So let's uh, let's go with that. Again, we're not going to try and go down the roads. We're just going to try and make it a bit more efficient than that. Now, I think we can probably at this point get a few more of the industrial buildings in there so let's go for that that'll make us a bit more cash the link to the rest of our city is fine the problem being they have to come all the way up here all the way onto the motorway and all the way to that junction go somewhere else turn around and come back so something that i hadn't thought about is definitely worth getting that little uh that little one in there oh it's a two-lane road though isn't it but of course it's not gonna be forever so we do want that little junction in there anyway um and that'll allow anyone that wants to kind of go out maybe come in as well change their minds whatever they want to do they can do it very nice indeed and here comes the rest of the industry we've not quite got our districts yet we need 1100 and yeah in terms of our next square we're going to go straight up into the north because we're going to go for some industry we do also have this big patch of ore over here which we can't actually look at just yet uh but yeah this big patch of ore and that's potentially something we want to do but do we want to destroy the beauty of our quaint little uh, hamlet over here with the old factory in the background I think we're going to keep this old factory in as well if we can. Uh, we can call it, say, the, the factory suburb, something like that. Anything you guys come up with, let me know. That'd be quite a cool 
little name. So we need to get to the point where we can afford our medical clinic. And I want this little small one. It's a nice looking one. I think it'll fit in well with um, the rest of the theme when we do get the European suburb theme on here as well. Uh, and it only costs 10,000. We're making a nice bit of cash now with the extra... Uh, with the extra industry pumping up the cash. We now can access our taxes as well. So let's get those pumped up to 12%. And uh, hopefully they don't complain too much. That should really help with our income as well. And here they go. Lots of people going to work. And ideally, eventually, we'll have a road and some sort of a public transport between the two. But for now, of course, we can't do that. So... We're going to keep on going with our building. And a lot of cars are streaming in here, uh, which is quite good. I do like that. Like to see it. Uh, but yeah, it's looking lovely, isn't it? It's looking absolutely beautiful. Stunning, in fact. So let's get our medical clinic. Where's the best place to put this? I'm thinking somewhere in the middle. I know it doesn't have a huge area spread, but let's try and stick it in there. That should... Uh, service this area at least. Anyone that gets injured, unfortunately, in an industrial accident. I'm sorry, but you're going to be waiting a while. <laughs> uh, and we can't build paths yet. It would be nice to connect all these areas up with some nice little paths. But unfortunately, we can't quite yet. Why have you decided... Ah, electricity again it has become an issue. So let's bump that up to, say, 89 Something like that. In terms of water, how is the water? Oh, we're fine with water. I don't know why you're so upset. Maybe because of the length of the pipes there. Ah, for some reason, every time that we get a new uh, a new unlock, we do get quite a bit of lag. We now have police and the fire stations, uh, which is really good. And we've got high capacity elementary school, police department, power, water, you know, all this sort of thing. We now get districts. As well, very nice indeed. We don't quite get the um, some of the stuff that we really want, but forestry and agricultural specialization. Now that's going to be very, very handy going forward. That's going to make us a serious amount of cash. So we really want to get that going as soon as we can. Did we unlock the ability to get a tile? We did, and it only cost 3,700. I don't see any reason not to purchase that tile then. We've got a nice bit of fertility over here. Look at this area. Very good indeed. Very nice. Big blob of fertility. Oh, it was actually oil, not ore over here. So we definitely don't want to mess up our lovely little area with some oil industry right next to it. Uh, but there isn't many other oil patches. That's the only thing. Over here there is, and there is actually a factory there. So that might force us then to going into this area for our downtown. And potentially over in this region, we'll have more of our industry around here. Sort of our industrial heartland in this swathe over here. There's not really a huge amount of forestry, as we can see. I wonder on vanilla whether there's... Oh, we've got a fire. Good. Right. Um, fire station first then. <laughs> Um, and I think Firehouse, where would be a nice place to put it? I think just on the end over here somewhere. How would that fit in? Go for a smaller one. It does. The small one does fit in quite well with the, uh, the shops and all that sort of thing. So I'm thinking right on the end there. It'll allow another little shop to squeeze in there. Uh, and police. Let's get our police. I'm thinking this nice little quaint police station. I don't think this will look out of place over here at all. Nicely in there. There we are. Oh, it looks beautiful, doesn't it? It looks lovely. And while we're here, let's get this area district off. Apart from power. No. We keep going down. So let's go up to 100% on the power. We might supplement it with a few uh, different things like uh, wind turbines, that sort of thing as well. And let's get our first district painted in. Very nice. It's called Garnet Heights. Or Garnet Hills. I think we're calling call this... Uh, factory foot for now but if you guys can come up with any better names than that do let me know because we've got the old factory i mean call it old factory district or something like that as well as a good option uh, but if you've got any other names do let me know uh, that'll be fantastic now we're getting a bit of commercial demand how is the power still 
Okay, we've boosted back up. That's good. Fantastic. Um, and, yeah. Water. Water, bit of an issue right, right now all the way up there. So we're going to have to get another, probably another... Another one of these down in this way. We will have to power it, though. Uh, I don't want to put it around the industry because, of course, it's going to be polluting. Ah, uh, lovely drinking water. So I'm wondering, yeah, potentially on the on the uh, the inn road here, just on the corner there. Not too close. I don't think we'll have to worry too much about... Power. We'll be able to get some power across to it quite easily, going all the way down the road nice and straight. Fortunately, we don't have the money for that, so let's build as much as we can for now. <laughs> We're doing a Brit. This is a British engineering feat, this. We'll build an as much as we can afford. It's not quite going to work, but we'll build as much as we can, guys. <laughs> and we just need to wait a little bit to get some extra cash. So let's stick that in, speed it up, and we'll be there in a second. So, we are doing quite well, guys. We're going to stick the style of factory foot to European suburbia. Now, hopefully that doesn't exodus everyone from the city. But <laughs> we'll have to watch for a second as it all pops back in. That'll also remove our commercial demand. I'm not too bothered about this for now. It should be okay. But I did really want this to be European suburbia. So, hopefully they'll start building back in in a second. Hopefully we're not going to lose too many different buildings um is the commercial zone inside it it is now we are going to lose power for a second while they rebuild that's not going to help too much but we are going to get a lot of buildings back in here quite quickly so i'll see you back then So we have nearly caught up to where we were before. We're back making a lot of money again, and it's starting to fill out once again, this area. And I just love the look of these European suburbia houses. Don't they look so cool? They look really cool. I can't wait to see what they look like when they have upgraded. I think they're really, really nice looking buildings. That's why I wanted to have them in here. Maybe not quite the setting for them with palm trees in the background. To me, they kind of look Scandinavian-esque. Or maybe Dutch. I don't know. Those are two very different things. If you're from either of those countries, <laughs> let me know. They're definitely not British. They definitely don't look French. Uh, although that's kind of Frenchish. But yeah, interesting houses. Really cool. I do love the look of them. Look at that big garden out the back as well there. That's really nice. And this sort of flat-roofed one is more sort of a Spanish design, really. So a bit of a mishmash there. But I do really love the look of these houses. Don't they look so cool in here as well? I love the fact we've still got this massive rock in the middle there. And it's starting to rain. Great. But we do have a very... So that fire should go out. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Uh, so... We are going to start looking at potentially getting our first industrial zone out there. But we can't, as of yet, oh, we can actually do a farmed industry zone. I thought that was on the, uh, the next milestone. That's a little bit weird. I thought that was going to be the next, uh, the next milestone. So, yeah, tiny town here, industry areas. But yeah, I guess it's uh, just doing this, which is fine, which is fine. It doesn't really matter too much. But yeah, we need a lot more industry. This is a big, dirty area of industry up here as it rains down on our beautiful 
little town. Very cool indeed. I do really like the look of this area. And I have added in a few extra little funky uh, rectangles of shops as well to meet all their shopping demands. The one issue we're going to have is we've only got one access point in here, but we will change that eventually. I'm probably thinking of bringing a road behind here and into there somewhere, maybe just off this way. So they've got a couple of access points. We do have a few people walking around as well, as you can see, walking through, enjoying their rainy day out there. So, yeah, and we've pretty much filled this area now. We've got a few more spots to fill up, but once that's done, that'll be great. So, we're going to get very close to beating the population now. I think that's about to come in in a, just a second, and it will lag. There we are. Fantastic. I don't know why it's lagging so much when we get that. Kind of weird. There we are. Tiny town. Now we can do industry areas, park areas. What else? We've unlocked park areas, industry, fishing industry, unique buildings, and football stadium. Cool. And as well as landscaping as well. Event policies. A few new roads. Plenty of nice roads. And now paths as well because we've unlocked the parks. Very cool. Indeed. Canals. We might have a little bit of a canal area later on. Park with palms there. Um, Multi-story decorative parking lot. We've got a few parking lots so we can get those in. The creator's library. I've not actually seen that before. So that must be from one of the new packs that we've got. Lots of parks going on down here. And we've got hotels as well. So we want to get those in at some point. But I just don't think they would fit in in our nice little suburbia just yet. That'll be a project for probably next time. But without further ado, let's try and get this industry area done. Now what I'm thinking is we're going to actually come in this way and this way. So we'll have two ways in. We're going to we're going to make it a toll booth only area as well. So they have to use the toll booth to get in. Uh, and that'll hopefully reduce some of the traffic that we're going to see. Now, we will leave a gap down the middle here for the rest uh, between this industry and the farming industry. Because, of course, that industry's dirty and we don't want our farming polluted by such filthy industry from over here. Uh, I mean, it's a nice little area. So, I mean, I'm potentially thinking we get our... If we bring this road out slightly, it's a bit, a bit bumpier than you first think. I'm thinking... I mean, that's quite close. So what we can do is what we'll do is we'll bring this road up that way. And then it'll join on there eventually. Not right now, but we can do that later. And then what we're going to do, we're going to have two sort of pillar roads coming down this way. And that's going to really uh, allow us to build the farms off of this main road. But I don't want to build too many off a single road. So we will have a few branching roads coming out as well. So, let's get our farm building down, if we can. Yeah, we need to create an industry area, of course. There we are. So, it looks like right in the middle there is where the best place to build our first farm zone is going to be. Right next to an old castle as well. So, this potentially could be called the castle farming zone or something. We might make that into a park at some point. A nice little castle tourist destination uh, but yeah let's pop down the main building down here um, and just in the middle somewhere that's fine great and now we can build um, all the different pastures and all that sort of thing so I'm thinking initially we'll start small I'm not going to build directly off that main road to start with so we'll come across this way. This pillar road can move its way down as well. And we'll start building off that. First of all, though, we do need power and water because I always forget about both of those things. <laughs> um, yeah. So let's get the water in there. Now, this is going to take a lot of water building these farms. But that's not really too much of a problem. Let's build... How many can we build? We'll build a few farms down the way. And then we'll build a couple of these little uh, bad boys in there as well. And, yeah. Not the greenhouse there. 
go for apples. Let's go for a nice little apple orchard. We'll have a greenhouse on the end because I think it looks cool. I do like the look of cotton, but I'm thinking more sort of a, a greener feel. So let's go... Yeah, the cotton's just a bit too... Yeah, I mean, cotton does look nice, though. It does look... It does fit quite nicely, doesn't it? And it's pouring down still. Stop pouring down, please. <laughs> I want my mods back. I want them back, please. <laughs> uh, we've got the Kent Plantation. Let's call it the Castle... Let's call it Castle Farms for now. That does sound like a British name for a prison, but... <laughs> Uh, Castle Farms for now is going to be the name. And I think we just need to wait a little bit for this to kick in. How many jobs are available? 190 workers over here. Um, and we have no one educated in our city, of course, guys. Remember that. <laughs> so we will have to get some education up and going very soon as well. But while we're here, let's maybe stick in a couple of extra of these guys. And they fit in perfectly. Very nice. We'll keep one greenhouse down there. And we'll go for apples again all the way down. That's oranges. Let's go for apples. Nice apple orchard. We'll be making cider in no time. Everybody knows everyone around here. Very good. If you know the reference, guys, stick it down in the comments below. One of my favorite films. One of my favorite. Definitely one of my, probably my favorite comedy film, at least. Um, right. So, I know it looks a bit sprawling right now, and it is quite sprawling. Um, but this suburb, I'm just really happy with the way this looks. It looks beautiful, doesn't it? Really. The sweeping corners, the nice bit of trees and green areas. We don't need uh, to fill this space. These guys have got plenty of room uh, to enjoy the countryside. Enjoy the green spaces of this suburb. With a few shops on the outskirts ready for them as well. Not enough customers. Ah, interesting. Well, that's fine. And then we've got our farms up here. Now, in terms of our expansion plan, guys, we're going to expand this suburb. It's not going to be the only suburb around here. We're probably going to expand all the way around this uh, this factory. So we can call it fact so Factory Foot. Maybe even all the way down here. But I've got a nice little plan for the spit over here in this nice neighborhood of suburbs. I think I've got a nice little plan of what we can do uh, with that spit of land there. But we'll, we'll try and build this all the way up to there. Nice area of suburbs um, winding its way through the countryside around the factory and enjoying uh, the space around here. I think that's probably a good idea. Probably a good idea. So, nice. We've got a nice little farm as well. Of course, that's going to start making us money as soon as we can. Start exporting crops. Uh, now, in terms of links, do we have any rail lines? It, oh, we do. Right across there. We're not going to have access to that for quite some time. Unless there's anywhere else that has a closer one. Very much doesn't look like it. So, we're going to be a while before we can get a railway in there. So, let's have a look at our potential options for exporting. Uh, exporting, then. Uh, we can't actually uh, get transport yet, so we can't actually see our options for exporting. Uh, but that's fine. Uh, we will have some way of exporting very soon. Uh, and that is fantastic. So, guys, what I think we're going to do is we're going to leave it there for this episode. We've got a bit of power shortages to sort out. I hope you enjoy this lovely little European suburb. I think this medical clinic fits in really nicely, as does the police station. I can't even tell it out. There it is. Couldn't even tell it out to start with. I feel like that fits in just lovely with this area, uh, and I'm really happy with how this is going. So if you have enjoyed, guys, a like, a subscribe, all that good stuff, that would really help the channel out, and I will see you all again on the next video.